I'm sure you've done a lot of research already and you know that ED could be from biological, physical reasons or even psychological reasons, but I wanna talk about how it's primarily neurological. Now you could have a structural issue that is relevant, that's much more rare, but it's possible. And then in many cases, it's purely brain-based. The brain is creating this genitourinary system dysfunction, which can show up as urinary frequency, urinary hesitancy, pelvic pain, or erectile dysfunction. So in this video, I'm gonna do my best to help you assess yourself to understand, is this a physical issue? Is this brain-based or is it a combination of both? As always, visit your physician. You always wanna get checked out and have support. This is purely for information. I help men to get back to having strong sex through the Vigor Sexual Strength Program. I actually just wanted to give a quick shout out to Daniel because he posted, thank you, Michael, for the section about the emotional release. I'm ready and inspired to do the work. As men, we are often not encouraged to dive in and explore the roots of our issues. Thank you, Daniel, for sharing that. And that's a big part of what makes the Vigor program and approach different, is that we don't just say, we only need to do exercises, let's do kegels, let's do something purely on the mechanical side or even changing your diet. We have to recognize what's the root cause that's creating danger signals to the brain, which is then leading to genitourinary dysfunction or other forms of pain in our body. All right, so first, of course, you wanna rule out a major structural issue. If there's something in the body anatomically that you need help with biomedically, you obviously want to get help with that. I imagine you've already been to a physician, but let me mention some things. So first of all, if you get erections sometimes, but not at other times. So maybe like you get morning wood, um, or whenever you're alone, you masturbate and you're fine, or when you're with a, with a partner, you're not always able to get an erection. That inconsistency shows you that it's mind-body related versus purely a structural issue that's never allowing you to have an erection. Um, if you exercise, you eat fairly healthy, that's really good. If a doctor has not found a structural problem, um, because again, it's rare, but it, there could be a, potentially be something there. So if you've done those things and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, you've ruled out a structural issue and your physical body's fine. All right, so we ruled out a major structural issue. Now it's time to rule in Mind-body syndrome, also known as TMS, is dysfunction worse with stress and anxiety. Personality traits and tendencies that lead to mind-body syndrome type symptoms. Being a perfectionist, hyper-responsible, trouble expressing emotions, avoiding confrontation, worrying, putting a lot of pressure on yourself, being self-critical. These are all tendencies that are related to mind-body syndrome that can create an internal tension that leads to a dysfunction. Again, this is happening at the level of the brain. That can lead to pain or dysfunction from anything that's being governed by the autonomic nervous system. That dysfunction could show up in the genitourinary system, which is clearly what we're talking about today as ED or urinary issues. It could show up in the GI tract as digestive issues, bloating, challenges like that, circulatory system, these things are happening below the level of conscious thought. Mind-body syndrome is just a term that's referencing how pain or dysfunction is created in the brain and it manifests in the body. What's happening is the brain is receiving danger signals. Everything's not okay right now. And of course, if you started experiencing ED or you had a traumatic moment, you're trying to have sex with, with someone and you weren't able to, and you then got even deeper into the fear symptom cycle, we can let all that go. I just wanted to explain how that can work. So everything from repressed emotions to personality tendencies to current stressors can give the brain messages of danger. So even if you're like, I'm fine, I'm at work right now, I'm just working, everything's okay. What do you mean? There's no danger. Maybe you checked your email 30 times today. Maybe you looked at social media with, you know, looked at your ex on social media. Maybe you're worrying about something that's coming up in the future. Maybe you're putting pressure on yourself always in your life or overly conscientious, hyper-responsible. Maybe you don't stand up for yourself and just tell your boss how you really feel and make a change for yourself. Or there are a lot of possibilities that lead to a tension. That tension, of course, does physiologically create dysfunction. But we need to address the root cause and look beyond the penis, look beyond the anatomy. So what do you do from here? 
You want to give your brain messages of safety. This can start with the next time you experience a symptom such as your erection not being as hard as you want. You're like, my body's fine. Everything's okay. I still love you. I love you no matter what. This self-love, this self-compassion absolutely changes your physiology and is necessary. And if you're with a partner, being able to have that conversation of like, can we just move to presence, pleasure, and connection right now and take any pressure off the table? Let's just be. And then you do other deep work, emotional release work, looking at who you've been, looking at what you're holding inside, looking at how you're living your life. You start to make those shifts and your body starts to go back to its natural state, which is having heart erections and being able to perform sexually. I'd love to support you on this path in the Vigor Sexual Strength Program. We do have training exercises that help you to move the sexual energy. We help you through the emotional release, the retraining, the reprogramming of the brain. And you also get coaching and support along the way. So I'll see you in the next video.